Video of a bat attacking a guitar playing man in the Oregon woods made headlines recently after the bat tested positive for rabies. It's a bat! The man received immediate treatment and is expected to recover. Was he in real danger? Do people still die of rabies? Yes, but it's very rare in the United States. The disease once killed about 100 Americans annually in the early 20th century, when domestic animals were most likely to infect people. But that number fell to one or two deaths per year by the 1990s. The World Health Organization estimates 55,000 people still die of rabies each year in Asia and Africa. But preventative health campaigns have brought deaths close to zero in the United States. Still, rabies holds on to its fearsome reputation, and it should. It's almost always fatal once symptoms begin. The disease assaults the central nervous system and can cause paralysis, delirium, and hallucinations before it kills you. Unlike decades past, domestic animals now rarely infect people with rabies in the U.S. Sure enough, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports bats are the most likely to infect people today in North America, even though less than 1% of wild bats are typically thought to have rabies. How can you tell if a bat is rabid? You can't for sure. If you encounter bats during the day, as the Oregon man did, that could be a sign. So can bats that have difficulty flying or are too easy to approach. Aggressive behavior can be a symptom, but aggressive animals can also become more docile when rabid. Ultimately, only lab testing can confirm a rabies diagnosis in an animal, which is why health officials urge people who have an encounter with a potentially rabid animal to get medical attention. Drugs can stop an infection from incubating, the very few Americans who die from rabies typically are exposed to a wild animal and don't seek treatment.